Welcome, this is a brief guide on installing a Synthetic Electron 3D panel hinge kit on your Centauri Carbon. Here are the two style of hinges that we currently have available, and this guide will apply to both. A panel spacer is a requirement with the hinges as it reinforces the edge of the panel as well as provides recesses for the fasteners used to secure the hinges. The spacer installation is beyond the scope of this video, but I have done another video that covers that topic and I will link it in the description. For the purposes of this guide, we are assuming you've already printed your hinges and you have your machine screws ready to go. If not, we'll put a link in the description to that information. Alright, with all that said, now let's get on with the installation process. The first part of the installation involves removing four screws from the rear panel. As you're facing the printer on the top left is going to be the first screw, then the middle of the top, the bottom left, and finally the center of the bottom. I'm starting the installation here with the bottom hinge. There's no reason for that in particular. You could start with the top. There's one orientation that these install in. If it's not level with the edge of the panel, then you installed it upside down. So you'll need to swap them around. Other than that, it should be fairly self-explanatory. And here we are. This is it for the back of the printer. Now moving on to the side panel. It should be noted here that in the center, I put two thumb screws that go all the way through the panel and the spacer into the chassis to hold the panel in place while the screws are being fastened to the panel. That's why you saw the cha color change. Okay, let's test this thing out. Looks like it's working beautifully. Let's affix a spool holder, an internal spool holder, and see how it works in that scenario. Now, I know that some people probably aren't using this in the context of an internal spool holder, but I think that's one of the many reasons that people do it. So, as you can see, I'm feeding in some filament here, and no problem so far, and then, yeah, doing a, doing a little print. Everything looks good. Now, these hinges may sag over time if you just leave the panel open like this all the time. But in general, for the occasional opening, they should be fine. That's it for this guide, but if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Reach out via the comments or social media and let me know. Thanks for watching, and if you found this useful and you'd like to see more of it, like and subscribe. Thank you.